What's up guys, it's your boy the Moan and welcome back to another Epic 7 video. If you guys wondering where the hell I've been, just take a break. Just take a little YouTube break is all. <laughs> so we back, uh, we back in action again today, you know, every Monday, patch prediction. Except again today, it's going to be more like patch preparation. Now hopefully you guys have been enjoying your time doing Abyss. I feel like that's an oxymoron. I'm sure a lot of you guys are pulling your hair out with Abyss. And hopefully there's been a ton of videos from other creators and, and the like that have uh, helped you uh, break past certain floors uh, in the Abyss. And with that being said, um, today's video, we are going to talk about them on my phone again. That's why I keep looking down to where I'm not falling asleep during the video. Um, we're going to talk about the craziness that's literally getting ready to happen uh, with all of these heroes that are going to be, be uh, coming out, right? I'm getting questions in the comments. Uh, should I pull for Kalrick? And, and of course, I'll be doing a separate video specifically on Kalrick uh, just to kind of give you guys a heads up as to what's going to be going on. We'll be talking about his numbers, how much damage he can deal, you know, yada, yada, yada. Um, in today's video, though, I want you guys to kind of get ready um, just because the way that the content is stacked right now, I think that things could still get a little interesting and might turn out in a way that you might not expect. And what I mean by that is, if you think about this, right, we got ML Charlotte who's coming and listen guys, like I told you before in my ML Charlotte video when I was talking about her, uh, when we got an opportunity to look at her skill kit and her multiplier because the multipliers were released, uh, the big thing with her is she's a very, very easy to use hero. Uh, just because of the, the team utility that she brings and it doesn't look like they're gonna nerf her, pray let's pray that they don't but if they don't intend on nerfing her over the course of the next nine days because that's when she's going to come out basically next maintenance um not this maintenance coming up in a couple of days but the one next week she's going to be coming out right so with that i'm think i'm pretty sure that the um the rest of raid is also supposed to come out when she comes out so you guys are definitely going to have your hands full um i definitely got to get into raid and you know do my thing i've been kind of uh, on hell raid lately so i'm super excited that the rest of the bosses are going to be coming with that um they literally squeezed in Kalrick super duper fast meaning like they had a limited hero cerise right so limited hero cerise came in and she's here no i still have not pulled her yet but <laughs> Limited Hero Cerise is here, and they kind of squeeze this in, like Kalrick is literally going to come right after her, right? Which is pretty, uh, you know, unusual, because they normally give us at least some type of solace or break in between. Um, but that is definitely not the case here, because I know Kalrick is pretty much a crowd favorite, and that's going to happen. Right a week after Kalrick drops, ML Charlotte is going to come out right after that. So you guys are literally going to have to balance your resources, right? So hopefully you guys have been saving your Mystic Bookmarks, you know, up to this point. You're looking at, you got Cerise, right? Everybody probably went all in Cerise just because she's limited. Again, she's still good. More and more people are finding better uses for her. Um, and people are utilizing Cerise a, a lot more than they thought that they would. Uh, just because, again, just because of the niche that she fits in, she still does her job very well. Now, fast forward a little bit, we got Kalrick, and everybody's going to be pulling for Kalrick just because, you know, everybody's into the whole Husbando thing, and Kalrick is a character that a lot of people, myself, I've even been waiting for Kalrick since, what, DN dropped the first time, which was last, what, it was November 2018, guys, um, <laughs> that that we first got to see Kalrick, and it's been this long um, since, you know, that, that we've been waiting for him to actually come out. And now he's finally going to be here as an official banner with a side story. And what I'm thinking is going to happen, guys, is his side story is going to lead directly into whatever the hell else is going to happen. I think it's going to introduce some key characters, um, based probably the rest of the characters that are probably going to come out this rotation before episode three comes out. Um, you know, I've been signaling this and talking about this, you know, a lot. Especially you guys like D every time you mention strays, 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 strays. I was even thinking strays was going to be the boss for floor 100, but rip, that wasn't the case. I, I was hoping, I was hoping, but instead it was ML Ravi. But, you know, the big thing here, guys, is um, I, I know things are crazy right now. Um, fortunately, you're going to be able to pull for Kalrick and you're going to be able to uh, also pull for ML Charlotte at the same time because it's two different resources. But my advice to you guys is after you get done doing your thing here for these next two heroes, I have a feeling that something big is going to happen. Now, what that's going to be, I don't know. But I'm anticipating either a big closeout for episode two, okay? 
or a big ramp up as we pull into episode three. Because now we only literally have maybe a side story and like a couple more, you know, chapters left or maybe one one or two. Yeah, a couple more chapters left um, within the episode and then we're done. You know what I'm saying? That's it. So, like I said before, guys, it's either going to be Strays, Ray, or Luena, you know, maybe somewhere in between there. Uh, maybe not. Maybe just Strays. Maybe just Ray. Maybe just Luena. Who knows? But I think we got a lot of stuff coming because how they did this last year um, with the episode two thing, guys, is here. Let me uh, let me run something here so you guys got something to look at. But how they did this last year. Uh, when we got into the episode two thing is there was like a press conference. They started hosting press conferences, right? So we had a press conference. We had teaser content. They started teasing things, uh, letting us know. And they really kicked off episode three or excuse me, episode two. They kicked it off really, really strong. So when we looked at, I think, hell, they kicked off episode two right with the guilty or they ended episode two episode one i can't remember if they ended episode one with guilty gear collab or they started episode one or or they started episode two with guilty gear collab i can't remember it was one or the other it might have been they might have uh, they might have closed out episode one with guilty gear collab and then we moved right into episode two so if we're basing everything off of the pacing of how they did things last year there's probably going to be one more big thing coming up um that could pretty much break the bank so, with that being said, guys, especially since we're pulling closer to the official launch of RTA, I wouldn't be surprised if they threw out some more big content. Now, what that is, I have no idea. Because if you think about it and you look at how the stories are positioned right now, like I told you guys before in like the previous patch predictions that I've been talking about Kyle for a while, I'm like, if Kyle comes out, like he's going to be the lead into Strays, right? So, again, for me, it would make sense, especially since they're squeezing all these banners together. Like, I wouldn't be surprised. Again, not at, I don't anticipate us getting ML strays, um, but I do anticipate seeing a, you know, old version of strays before he became, you know, the new strays, right? So, with that, you know, looking at that, I think how they'd position that is if you guys go back and look at the DN side story. Are they really not going to let me sell stuff here? <laughs> but if you guys go back and look at the uh, the side story with DN, how they set it up is they showed DN's former self basically. And uh, okay, I guess I guess we're not doing equipment today. But with her former self, it was like a younger version where when you looked at her, it's just like they explained to her who she was, gave you a little bit of background story be before she became the queen and, you know, introduced the side story, side character who was Basque, right? And, you know, I'm foreseeing that they're going to do the same thing with Strays, whether he's going to be limited or not. I don't know. Uh, he might not be limited because they just recently dropped Cerise, but it depends on how many more months we have left in this in this episode. So I'm guesstimating about two months max, maybe three months uh, for the rest of the episode, which is plenty of time to launch probably three or four more characters plus fillers, uh, plus ramp up, plus the rest of whatever PVE content that got slated for the rest of episode two. So with that, they could easily position strays in there. They could easily position other characters, the rest of the characters, basically, that everybody's been waiting for. We're still waiting for Karin's aunt to show up. And Karin's aunt could may well be a precursor to another continent, uh, which could be signaling the con the next continent, con uh, excuse me, continent that we're going to be going through or going to, uh, which could let us know some key things. So if I had to guess, I you know obviously I don't know if they're going to be going in order, uh, but Eurasia, Eurasia, <laughs> I'm thinking could very well be next, or maybe even Eureka. Um, I don't foresee the Eastern Empire just yet because I haven't really seen too many characters tie into that. Uh, but the top two uh, definitely are my top choices. I'm still I'm kind of leaning more towards Eurasia. Eurasia, uh, just because I, you know, there's been several characters that have been tied to the continent. Uh, there are also been some that have been tied to Eureka as well, um, just not as many. But like with that, let's just like I would pay really close attention to a lot of the characters that are going to be coming out from here until, you know, the end of episode two, because I feel like there's going to be some quiet teasers and fillers. And if you guys weren't here for the launch of episode two, it was a really big launch with a lot of stuff. So if they're going to be building up for that, I'd expect a press conference. I'd expect expect uh, dev notes. I'd expect crazy events. I'd expect new heroes, um, especially now with how aggressive they actually are being with 
these new heroes because before it, it it was like they were walking on pins and needles right they'd be like oh well we're gonna put this out but we don't want everybody to feel like you know we're, we're you know doing too much so we're gonna give you guys a new hero and then filler content for a week or two and then a new hero right and then we went through that drought where we literally had nothing but like repeat banners and stories and now it's just like boom 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 limited hero new hero limited hero new hero, right that's what it feels like and and that's what i think the pacing is going to be for the rest of episode two so what i advise is is after you guys go all out for kyle rick and ml charlotte because i know you guys are going to do this no matter what i say i want you guys after you get done take a second to replenish yourself because i still think that we have one major one maybe even two but one major bang uh before they close out this episode because like i said last episode they close they finished out with the collab uh, which was a long event with with like limited heroes out the wazoo we had back-to-back limited banners they gave a free five star so bad guy right and if they do decide to bring back guilty gear collab again uh, i would anticipate that eno would be a part of that and it's going to be a super duper farm heavy event so you guys can catch up all get sold bad guy for those of you guys who didn't get sold bad guy and then obviously still have the chance for summon for dizzy and biken however if they decide to do a guilty gear rerun after episode three i think we're in cool waters and you're pretty safe because then at that point they'll announce it ahead of time and you'll be cool however if they do not do guilty gear collab before episode three starts man they might be kicking our teeth in uh with new heroes so i'm just saying i don't anticipate again a lot of crazy like you know super duper major game changes outside of the you know obviously the end of raid um, but I think that the rest of episode two is literally just going to be all new hero releases. So again, after you guys, you know, go all in for these next couple of summons for Charlotte and Kyle Rick or whatever. Again, I would just, you know, slow it down a little bit, start to pace yourself because I still think we got a couple more uh, big hitters to come. All right. So just keep that in mind as, as we go through this and move through this. So when you guys look at this, guys, and you guys are getting ready for Kyle Rick, like I said, um, go ahead and do your thing. Um, make sure you guys watch the video. I'm going to do a initial impressions video on Kyle Rick. I'm going to talk all about him, my initial thoughts on him, how I think you guys will be able to utilize him, either uh, whether you have the gear or don't have the gear, if you guys just want to use him because he looks dope, because uh, you guys obviously are more than welcome to do that. And then, uh, you know, we'll go into how much damage he could deal based on how, you know, how much gear you actually have or how good your gear actually is. Uh, so that way you guys have a better idea as to what you guys should do. But in terms of today, um, in terms of patch prep, it's pretty much just get ready to go all in, you know, do everything that you need to do to get whoever it is that you need to get for these next couple of weeks. And then after that, hold, 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 hold. All right. Because... Again, we got quite a few key characters that could be coming out. And like I said, if Ray does come out, I said this before, if Ray comes out anytime soon, then Dizzy's coming back. I can promise you that Dizzy will come back if Ray comes out. <laughs> All right. If he don't come out, we might be safe. But if Ray comes out, we're done. And not to mention that the girl, uh, the little chef girl, um, not, not Pillsbury Doughman, but his daughter was animated. So she could very well be a new character uh that's coming to the table for us too just out of left field she could also be a transitional character that could lead us into another continent as well uh, or lead us into episode three so make sure you guys keep that in mind uh she could easily be a connection hero as well because they still got to drop some of those um and then we could may we could very well see another specialty change before the end of the episode um before it closes so Anyway, guys, uh, that's all I wanted to cover. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. As always, it's your boy, Damone, and we will see you guys in the next video. Peace.